Right, we're now going to have a look at learning more in GlovePy, and we're going to create our own pointer. What we're going to do is we're going to learn how we can use the infrared device on the Wii remote and make it move the mouse cursor where we're pointing. Now, currently, you need some form of sensor bar or something that will actually give off infrared. i am currently got my Wii, just have it on, switch it on, and I've got an infrared bar. You can actually use candles or anything you want, or you can have a look on the internet how to make a wireless sensor bar that will just run on batteries. But either way you need some type of infrared device. Now the Wii remote will actually work on just one infrared point. The reason we have two is just two is better than one, it has more accuracy. And all we're going to do is really look at how we can create our pointer and get it working as I've already mentioned. So firstly I'm going to use the debug tool to output some information. I'm going to go Wiimote. I'm using the second Wiimote, so I'm using Wiimote 2. So debug equals Wiimote 2 dot LED um, dot 1. And basically, dot is your infrared. And I'm going to go dot 1 viz. And viz basically just stands for visible. Is visible. Can be seen. And that's all it stands for. So I'm going to run this code. And you can see it's currently set to false, and now it's set to true, because I'm pointing at an infrared device that I have. I know I'm pointing at the sensor bar. This then means that if I was to go something like this, we mo mote two dot dot two viz. So if both one and two Wii remotes are visible, you see that the book. The both are, and that's why it's set to true. That will only be true if both are, tr are true. And that just proves that that's working. I can show you again just by showing you that on its own. And you see we get the same piece of data. Right, so we know that our infrared sources are available. So now I'm just going to output that data. And I'm going to go we remote to dot one x So the x coordinate. And you can actually see that it's mapping out the x coordinate, it's giving me some data. And it goes straight from zero if you can match zero. Sometimes it doesn't register zero because if you move too quickly like that, it doesn't. And there we have a basic sensor. And all I'm going to do is, as you can see, it goes down to one like that, and all the way up to 1000 and so forth. Now, what I'm going to do is. I need to create some way of converting that data into a percentage. And all we do is we use a simple percentage formula to do this. So it's something like we know that our, we need to find our maximum. Well, our maximum currently, the highest value you can get is, let's see, point it. Here we go. As you can see, it goes right the way over to 1012. And I'm going to divide by 1012. 1012. Sorry, stupid pop up. Um, and I'm going to run that out. And now you can see it's working as a percentage, where 100% is roughly there. And the lowest percentage is there. Normally you'd multiply by 100, but I can't be bothered to do that because you'll see why in a minute. There you go, 100%. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to then, I need that, now I've got that percentage, I need to then multiply that by the screen's width. Now I've got a screen's width of 1024. And all you do is you put this in a bracket. And we go multiplied by 1024, the screen's width. Now if we're at 100%, which in this case is 1, will be at 1024 and if we're halfway between there it will get the halfway value you'll see as I run this code they can see it's working out the actual position in pixels where we should be now funnily enough it needs inverting because when I point to the left the numbers go up and when I point when I move to the right the numbers go down well that isn't entirely how a pointer works is it we know that the 1024 or the highest pixel is to the right of the screen so we need to we need to invert this somehow. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 1024 minus, open the bracket, 
and put a bracket there and then we're going to round this data off because we're working whole pixels not in short pixels or anything like that so now it works the right way as I move to the right of the screen it goes up as I move to the left of the screen it goes down as you can see I'm going to stop that and now I'm going to get this data that we've just worked out and I'm going to go mouse dot x equals that now here we are you'll be thinking well as I'm moving nothing's happening well that's because we don't actually use the mouse dot x value to get this to work like so because as you can see it doesn't work even though that the value itself is changing so now we need control of our mouse back which we don't have so you press the alt key and we can then use the directional keys to move around on here and we can press down and we can stop it like so or we can use the shortcut what we need to do is we need to go mouse dot sorry let's move that out here we are sorry there we are sorry I forgot it's cursor position X and then we run and now there we go it's moving left and right depending on me moving up and down aha there we have it we have a basic pointer so now what I'm going to do is I need to do the same for the y-axis so delete all this and we're going to go we mote 2 dot and this time we want the y value and we're going to run this and again you can get your limits that you want I um, basically the limits change constantly for some reason the angle that I'm situated at the moment my limits aren't very good it's only going as you can see from 600 to in fact it's varying all the time yeah it's going from about 600 up to oh it's really messed up my pointer there we go we can see we're getting all this data which is just not accurate at all so I'm going to max it out about 700 and so forth and so on and then we'll see how that works so we're basically going to apply the same formula I'm going to copy this formula here that we did for the x-axis and use it as a y-axis I'm going to change the dot because now we're going to use it a y and not x because we're doing the y-axis on the, the data that we're feeding in this time I'm going to set my limit I'm going to just say let's say 800 for now you can mess around with that value for sensitivity reasons uh, the screen height is 784 so then I need to change these details I've got a bit of a weird screen res at the moment um, and we're going to just run that like so and now I have a basic pointer which is going to feed some data all I've got to do is I've got to apply the cursor position Y to this now so mouse dot cursor pause y is going to equal this new formula we've just made and we're going to run that and as you can see we've got a basic pointer now something you'll notice about this one is this time when I point up it's going down when I point down it's going up well that's down to the fact that well we don't need to minus this off this time because it's actually working the right way around so that works absolutely fine as it is and we've got a basic pointer that's working relatively well now the data I've got is, is not accu mega accurate I've just kind of done a rush around to uh, get the best job that I can in the quickest time because I don't really want to be spending hours on the fine-tuning on a tutorial 